Have you been wondering whether or not you should update to the latest Hotfix driver 546.31? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to be testing today. 546.29 versus Hotfix driver 546.31. So sit down, strap in, let's go. Right guys, in today's video, as the intro suggests, I'll be comparing the latest driver, 546.29, which most of you should know is my favorite driver this year. Fantastic performance, great latency against the latest hardfix driver, which released about a day or two after the latest driver, 546.31. And the hardfix driver, what it addressed was when V-Sync was enabled, it actually could cause stuttering in certain games. But you don't need the hotfix driver. This is all a hardware acceleration issue, which has been an issue with the latest drivers for quite some time. I will link a video in the description that will show you how to enable hardware accelerator GPU scheduling so that hardware acceleration is done system-wide, but then to, uh, to prevent conflicts, then you switch off hardware acceleration in your browser, you switch off hardware acceleration in Steam, Discord, and if you use VLC, you switch it off there as well. But I'll link a video in the description showing you how to go about doing that. But before we get to my results, guys, if you subscribe to the channel, please consider, uh, please make sure that all notifications are set so that when I do drop a new video, you are notified instantaneously. Like the video, share the video, comment on the video. And then, guys, for those of you that aren't subscribed, please consider doing so by the end of the video if you find this helpful. On my homepage, there are a whole bunch of optimization guides. I recently updated my full GPU optimization while well worth a watch. A full CPU optimization guide. For those of you that aren't undervolted and you're on Intel, this a, a full CPU optimization guide, step one, will show you how to unlock undervolting for 10th gen and newer CPUs. And then I also have a whole bunch of throttle stop guides that you can go through. Um, Funny enough, I am actually working on an ultimate undervolting guide which will be combining GPU undervolting and CPU undervolting for the ultimate undervolt experience. But that's a video for a different or discussion for a different day. So guys, um, I will link uh, the, the Game Ready Driver Forum. This is where idiots come together to complain about drivers. I find this to be quite useless because people just like complaining for the sake of complaining. Um, but I'll link it in anyway. So guys, my results. So obviously I compared the two latest or the latest drive in the hotfix. All my games are tested at medium settings, except for, for the newer titles. I do test on a GTX 1650 laptop. So all the new games are tested at low. Um, I do test on single player games because I just find the data to be more, uh, more useful. Um, uh, online games are all over the place. And also I just really don't like online games. And then um, I set all my games to which have FSR 2.0, 2.1. I use the quality setting. And then lastly, guys, I do test on a GTX 1650 laptop. So anybody with the RTX 3050 Ti and below, your results should be similar to mine. But obviously, RTX does interface with drivers slightly differently. It's a new technology. So RTX 3060 and up, you might find that your results may vary. But let's get to those results. So for the latest driver, I was a massive fan of this driver because it had the best average FPS out of all the drivers this year, the best 1% lows and the best 0.1% lows. And would you believe it, it had freaking fantastic latency as well. So it's a killer driver. So when I add up, uh, I tested over 14 games, when I add up all the average FPS, I get to 945. When I add up all the 1% lows, I get to 712. And when I add up all the 0.1% lows, I get to 602. Then the hotfix driver, or should I say the shitfix driver, uh, when I add up all the average FPS, I get to 934, so you can see there's 11 FPS lower. When I add up all the 1% lows, I get to 712, so you can see there's 10 FPS, 1% lows, lower. And then when I add up all those 0.1% lows, I get to 589. So guys, you can see the hotfix driver, uh, it's not required, because you can fix the issue by enabling hardware accelerator GPU scheduling uh, and then switching off hardware acceleration in Steam, Discord, uh, VLC, as well as in your browser. Um, I will link a video to how to do that. Um, so once you fix hardware acceleration, you don't need the hotfix driver because the VSync stuttering issue won't be there. Um, so the hotfix driver is much worse average FPS, much worse 1% lows, 
and pretty pretty much worse 0.1% lows. So guys, my winner for the year is still 546.29. Just do the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling fix that I will link in the description. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button. If you have any questions, please hit me up in the comment section. And as always, guys, it's Sunday. Have a good one. It's people like you. Cheers.